Alright guys, so what I thought I'd do is just go over the cumulative frequency that we didn't quite have enough time to do in class. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the data and we're going to create a cumulative frequency distribution table. Then we'll create a cumulative frequency graph and then we'll answer some questions about it. Alright, so let's start with the cumulative frequency distribution table. All right, so first we recognize that these things are continuous data, right? The data for each person could be anywhere between 2 hours and 26 minutes up to 2 hours and 28 minutes. So anything in between there, quite continuous, is considered in this first block, and 8 people did it that fast, and then 3, and then 9, and so on and so forth. So the, what we're going to do is we're just going to add another little block here on the end. And this is going to be for the cumulative frequency. All right? I'm just going to put freak. Now, um, the way that this works is the cumulative frequency will count everything in this group and everything before it. All right? So when I look at the cumulative frequency of a specific group, that tells me how many people overall are that number or less. So just to kind of clarify, this first would be 8 because there are 8 people that did it in less than 2 hours 28 minutes. So from here down. Next we're going to look at the next one. Now between 228 and 230 was 3 people. However, the cumulative frequency is going to be the sum of this and anything before it, which means that there are 11 people that did it in less than 2 hours and 30 minutes. All right. Now looking at the race again, how many people did it in less than 2 hours and 32 minutes? Well, these 9 and those 3 and those 8, which adds up to 20. You'll notice that that's just 11 plus 9. And so we'll get 20. And so then we'll go to the next one, and that will be 31. The next one will be 31 plus 12, which will be 43. And if you don't believe me, then just add all those up. You should find that you get 43. And then 43 plus 7 is 50. 50 plus 5 is 55. 55 plus 8 is 63. And 63 plus 6 is 69. Now, one thing that this does is that it allows us to see the total number of people, right? 69. Now, another thing that this does is this allows us to create a cumulative frequency graph. All right? So how this works is we'll go ahead and create a cumulative frequency graph, which will look something like this. OK? And on the x-axis, we're going to put our times. And so this first one will be 226, and then 228, and then 230, 232, 34, 36, 38, 40. It looks like I need to go all the way up to 56. 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52. Just want to make sure that I'm going up and completing, making sure they're all the right distance apart. Okay, so I've gone all the way from 226 up to 256. So this is the times. And then on the y-axis, we're going to put the number of people, right? So this is the, the frequency or the number of people that have done it in this amount of time or less. All right, so we start at 226. We need to go all the way up to 69. So maybe let's go by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, so the amount of people that did it in 226 or less is 0. The amount of people that did it in 228 or less was 8, so we'll go up to 8. This was going by 10s, remember. All right, so we keep going from there. So now we say, okay, how many people did it in 230 uh, or less? Well, that was 11 total people. So this 11 counts those that did it in 28, because this is anybody that did it in less than 230. All right, then we go up to 232, which was 20 people. So we put the point there. 
and then 234 was 31 total people. And then 36 is 43 people. So we go right there. And then 40. Uh, sorry, let's see. 38 was 50 people. So we go right there. 40 was 55 people. So about halfway in between there. And then the next one goes all the way up to 48, which is 63 people. Somewhere around there. And then 56, which was the total of 69 people. All right. Now, this is the cumulative cumulative frequency graph. You can kind of connect the dots if you want. Okay. Now, several things can be done with this. All right. Right here, they want us to use the graph to estimate the median finishing time. All right. Well, if there are 69 people, the median should be right in the middle. So if we have Let's take the 69 and divide it by 2, which will give us 34.5. Now, here we actually add a half, and let me kind of make sense of that. If there are three numbers, like 3 and 5 and 9, the median is the second one. So that's three numbers divided by 2, which is 1.5 and then we add one half to it, which is then the second number. Let's try it with five numbers. So three, five, six, eight, nine. If there are five numbers, divide it by two, that's 2.5. If we add one half, we get three. So the third number is my median. Let's try it with an even number. So let's try like uh, three, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, so there are now six numbers. Divide it by two, so we get three. Add one half, so that's three and a half. So first number, second number, third number, and a half. So then the medium would be in between those two. So that's actually a formula that's given to you in the book, but we just kind of reason through it right here. So 34.5, which means the 35th person would be the median. And so we go up to 35, which is right here, and we say, okay, 35. And the median then, the median time would be approximately 32, 34, maybe 35 to 35, looks like. Okay, now you can get that from the table as well. We've determined that it was the 35th person. The 35th person should be somewhere between 31 and 43. And so that would be somewhere between this 32 to 34 and 34 to 36, which means... 31 people finish in 34, therefore somewhere in between there, between the 34 and 36 is where that 35th occurs, and so therefore 235 would be a reasonable answer. Okay, so that was the median finishing time. Let's look at the number of competitors who finished in a time less than 2 hours 35 minutes. Well, 235, that was the median, which was the 35th person. So we would then assume if that's the 35th person, there are 34 people before him. And so therefore, 34 people finish in less than 2 hours and 35 minutes. Um, so then we say, okay, let's look at the percentage of competitors who took more than 2 hours and 39 minutes to finish. Okay, well, we can see that from the graph. If we go right here, 239 is about right there. And we go over to the graph. And it looks like maybe 51 or something for my graph. It looks like it's a little bit higher than 50. My graph isn't perfect. We can double check this by looking up at our frequency table, 239 would be halfway in between here and here. And so 50 people did it in 238 or less. And so 239 would be, like I say, right in the middle. So either two or three people, which means this should be, okay, maybe 52 or 53 that did it in less than 239. Okay, so we just kind of estimated because 239 is in the middle of this class right here. We just estimated, okay, well, five people did it in that amount of time. We need half of that, so two or three people in the middle. All right, so which more or less maps matches what I got on my graph here. All right, so we've done two, we've done three. Let's do number four, the time taken by a competitor 
who finished in the top 20% of those who completed the marathon. So top 20%, well, there were 69 people. So if I multiply 69, the top 20%, so multiply by 0.2, so 13.8 people would be the top 20%. So I'm going to round that to 14. So the top 14 people were in the top 20%. Okay, this was 0 0.20, which is 20%. So I'm looking for the top 14 people out of 69. 69 minus 14 would be 55. So I look for the place where I've got 55, which is right about here. Oh, in fact, 55 is in my table. But 55 looks like it's right about there, which then matches up with the 240 right there. And so we would say, OK, well, about 240 would be a competitor who finished in the top 20%. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, just kidding. Top 20% would actually be the fastest people. So we want the fastest 14. So I apologize. That should actually be somewhere around here which then we would probably guess would be about 231. I guess I should have read the question. So 231 would be our approximation. Again, top 14, so 11 people did it in less than 230. So it can't be 230. 20 people did it in 232. So about halfway between there, right? We need another three people. So probably a little bit faster than 231. But 231 is a good guess in between those two. All right? So I hope that was helpful. If you want to watch the other video, it will go through another example with this, looking at other types of questions. All right, so I highly recommend that one too. All right.